Hi, Prosperity Team. It's Dr. Money. Kind of a grumpy Dr. Money today <laughs> because this is the day that I eat 500 calories. So it really makes me not want to do anything, but I'm here doing the video anyway. And I suggest that if you have a commitment to yourself, that you keep it even if you don't feel like doing it. So we're gonna go together and I hope just doing this cheers me up and that I won't be thinking about being hungry. <laughs> so let's go into the prosperity circle of well-being. And we go in there to receive our good and we go in to give good to others as well. So imagine yourself in the circle of well-being and breathe in, breathing in your good and as you exhale your good, exhale your intention that all beings have what they need when they need it. So this is the breath of life, breathing in deeply and breathing out. It's an amazing experience, the breath. I like to think about breath harmony so that when we breathe in, and breathe out, that we breathe in harmony with everything, with all of life. Breathing in and breathing out, and through our intentional breath, what we're doing is that we're bringing harmony to the earth, peace to the earth, and especially right relationship with money. I think everyone can take just a few moments a day to create a new prosperity universe for everyone. Now I'm coming to you from the prosperity corner of the universe and we're all partaking in it today. And so it is. So we, the brain, the brain is a, an interesting thing. We know that the mind get, extends beyond the brain, but we know that the brain has these capabilities where it stores all kinds of images and things. And the brain can't make, tell the difference between something that has happened or something that is imagined. If we imagine something, then the brain thinks it's happened. Have you ever thought that you were gonna tell somebody something and you thought about it very distinctly and then they say, no, you never told me. <laughs> but the recollection was, well, I thought I told you. It's because we had practiced saying it. We wanted to remember saying it. We thought we had already said it. So we have to do something different and put some different images in our mind if we want to change our prosperity awareness. And so I'm going to suggest that everyone puts a little prosperity pump in their mind. Just imagine that it's right there, prosperity pump. And what you do with a prosperity pump is that when you're having a, a lack moment is that you get out your prosperity pump in your mind and you pump whatever it is you need. For example, if you need money, then see your prosperity pump pumping out money seeing it pumping out what you need. If you need peace in the moment, see it pumping out peace. Just see, you know, see whatever image that might be, like flowing water. If you need a relationship, see it pumping out relationships. Or if you need some kind of joyfulness, see it pumping out little birds that are flying out, chirping and singing. But use your prosperity pump to create a reality that is fun for you because we spend so much of our time imagining all kinds of stuff, stuff that's never gonna happen, and especially we imagine stuff we don't want to happen. And what that is, is mind chatter and addiction to certain states of consciousness that we're used to, that we're used to certain bad and negative states of consciousness. And when I say used to, it's chemically, it's wired in our brain. The chemicals go off, they're the same. And it's like we have a filing cabinet in our brain and it stores all the crap. And every time we get under stress, it just puts it in that same filing cabinet and it grows and grows and grows until it becomes the lens through which we view all reality. And unless we stop and we think about it and we go conscious, and that's what's so beautiful. The moment we begin to go conscious, we begin to close that file door because we're bringing consciousness to the moment. We're not operating from conditioned responses. So I suggest that we create some new file cabinets, some prosperity file cabinets, and we can pump them full with our prosperity pump. We just want to do something different so that the mind won't keep going in the same old places it's always gone to. This is Dr. Bunny. I hope you sleep tight tonight. Remember to use your prosperity pump and that I love you.